Oh, I always have this patch. Anybody who knows what to do, get real this thing. It's disgusting to me, but it's like a little eczema thing or whatever. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm being self-oriented. I'm here to talk to you. Yeah, so I'm about to shoot another video, uh, which is probably going to... You know, I need to vent some stuff, but I just, before I got into all that, I just wanted to share with you something cool that I found um, in my uh, storage unit the other day. And um, I guess I'm going to have to, I don't know how to make a flip while, while this happens. Yeah, that's not the flip button. So I'll, I'll hold it up and then I'll, I'll cut and show you this thing. But this this was in my storage. I had this years ago. So how, how cool is that, right? Um, you know, there used to be a store in Philly called Read More Books where I used to pick up back issues of uh, Mad Magazine and uh, at one point when they were about to, well, before they closed, they're gone now. I don't even know what happened to all this stuff, but they had literally archives of backdate magazines going back to like the 1800s and it's uh, every once in a while they, you know, if they had like a huge bundle of magazines that was taking up space, they would, they would mark them down and just throw them on the wall and somehow, you know, I don't know how long ago it was, over 20 years ago, but I got this uh, Essence from 1972. Yeah, pardon the dirt. Um, whatever. Um, I'm a slob. Anyway, so, I haven't looked at this in a while, but I thought it would be cool to share. Um, all right, so, 1972 Essence, uh, one of the first, if not the first magazine uh, geared towards the black female audience, you know, and uh, still around, still black publish um, so it was on the cover so Curtis Mayfield that's pretty dope I love Curtis Mayfield but just uh, advertising look at that just literally every single ad is celebrating or geared towards black people that's how bad they wanted our money and um, I'll just be quiet. I'll just flip through. You can go if you can find this. Good luck. You're not gonna get it for 93 cents. I'm pretty sure. But anyway, Ooh, wow. Black tampons. Well, I guess that's the only ad that they didn't bother. But it's colorful. Rainbows. Um, all right. Vaseline. We know we need that. Um. Okay. I'll leave that to you. Okay. G giving away money. That's something I've never done. Uh. Beauty of Jar. Damn, look at that sister. Oh, I love that. Okay. All right. And, um, okay. How's your kiss? Celebrating just the lips. I love black women lips, personally. My favorite feature on a woman. And, uh, you know, so, uh, I mean, I'm sure Essence is still around. I don't know if it's just like this. But, uh, you know, the one thing I would say is the reason why, um, yeah, smoking is bad for you. Don't do that. And that. That was very calming, actually. Put me in a good place. Um, the reason why I call it real black is, uh, because to me, the 70s, when we, we defined ourselves or we called ourselves black, we weren't defined by the folks. African American and Negro and colored. That was stuff uh, other folks made up for us. Uh, I think black is something that we we chose to own, especially in the 70s. I think that's the the time of our our highest level of creativity and um, the strongest. Outside in the 80s a little bit, but there's also Jerry Curl 80s and there's like Jerry Curl 80s and Run DMC 80s, and we'll talk about that another time. But uh, 70s were all about black and black is the strongest color it it's a complete absence of light though <laughs> but um i digress but anyway so the reason why we, we uh, it's called real black is because uh it, it relates to the 70s and and the 70s were when we really had the freedom to really truly express ourselves and and um i don't know maybe more people should get in tune with uh, what was happening back then. I mean, I think one of the biggest crimes to humanity is the fact that uh, the movie Save the Children is completely unavailable. 
and uh, Clarence Avon, you know, if you're watching this, you gotta you gotta do something about that before you transition. You gotta get the, the lawyers on that because that 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 and for who, those who don't know, um, Save the Children, Watt Stacks, and Soul to Soul. And there's another movie called It's Your Thing, which probably is not quite on the same level. Also missing in action, but um, you know, those were documents of black music festivals and and Soul Power, which came out so much later, where where you get to see the range and breadth and diversity of, of the black experience in 1972 at the uh, Jesse Jackson's Operation Push Convention in Chicago, so, uh, which is the same year that this Essence magazine came out. So uh, I don't have that movie for you, but um, you know, good luck finding it. And uh, you might have an easier time getting back issues of Essence magazine, but that's, that's what I'm about. And you know, I just needed to sort of like recalibrate on that before I get into this guy's ass in a minute. So stay tuned. And I love you.